Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and I'm back with a new video series and this time it's Solaris. So let's start. Solaris is a Unix operating system and was developed by Sun Microsystem. In 2010, Oracle Corporation acquired Sun and they named it Oracle Solaris. Earlier versions were only meant to run on Spark systems, but then Sun decided to make it compatible for x86 and x86, uh, x86 64-bit machines uh, as well. So now Solaris can run on both Spark and x86 based machines. And in our first video, we will see how to install Solaris 11.3. Uh, first, we need to download the ISO image from Oracle's website. Make sure you have set up an account with oracle.com. And if you don't have any account, I would suggest to create it right now. It's free of cost. And because without this account, you would not be able to download the image. Okay, so account is simple and free of cost. Once you have created the account, you can download the ISO image from uh, this link. It's download.oracle.com. And... I would recommend you to download sol 11 underscore 3 text sparkiso Okay, so after downloading the image, we will install it on our system. Uh, before I start the installation demo, I would like to mention a few of the features of new Solaris uh, 11. Uh, first of all, it uses Grub as a bootloader. Uh, it uses GNOME Desktop if uh, you will have uh, in GUI mode. So you will see that it now uses GNOME desktop. So that's why it's more Linux uh, like nowadays. Virtualization is built in. So now rollback feature is available. And this means that you can always go back if you have corrupted your operating system. Package management tool is available now and it's called IPS. So you don't have to worry about uh, the dependencies. So let's start our demo. For demo, I'm going to use VirtualBox. Okay, so let's create our new VirtualBox image. And I'm going to name it Solaris 2. Type as Solaris, Oracle Solaris. You can see that and it's 11. Click next. Okay, this uh, 1 GB is fine with it. Okay, 1.5 GB. We are going to create a virtual hard disk and VDI, that's fine. Dynamically allocate and it should be at least 8 GB. Okay, so I'm just going to use 8 gigs. Okay, now the machine is uh, like we have created the machine, but first I have already downloaded the ice image. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into settings and I am going into storage and over here I'm going to select this ISO image, okay? So once this is selected, click OK and then click Start. And you can see that it has started the installation process. And you can see it's Oracle Solaris 11.3. Okay, now it's probing from uh, for the devices. And this process is going to take some time, so we need to wait. So now it's preparing for the image to use and now you can see that it has given us some uh, options like to select the USB keyboard. So I'm going to go with default, that's US English. Okay, now let me scroll this. Okay, now it's asking for the uh, language. So the default is English, I'm going with it and you can see that it has given the host name as Solaris by default. We can change it uh, later. Okay, now it's saying welcome to Oracle Solaris installation menu, install, install additional drivers, shell, terminal type, 
reboot so we'll go with default because we need to install it's one press enter okay guys one more thing if you are installing it on VirtualBox make sure you have uh, this network in bridge mode that's very important okay now here's the welcome screen you can see thanks for uh, choosing to install Oracle Solaris so this installer enables you to install Oracle Solaris operating system on Spark or x86 system okay and this is very important you can see that the installation log will be at slash system slash volatile slash install underscore log, uh, logs okay you can read the rest but this is important you can see at the bottom f2 is to continue so we are going to press f2 key okay now select discovery method for disk so i can use local disk or i can use iSCSI but you can see uh, like we are installing it locally so i'm going to select local disk press f2 okay here it's giving you the 8 gb disk and it's asking if you want to do this automatically or you want to uh, like change it as per your own requirement so i'm going to go with uh, f2 I can press okay and here you can see it's uh, asking you to use a GPT partition of the disk or use the entire disk so I'm going to press F2 again at the bottom of the screen you can see that F2 means to continue okay F2 you can change here the name so I'm going to call it Solaris 2 this is going to be because Solaris 1 I have already installed press F2 okay over here it's asking for the network so I am going to go with manual press F2 again and here you can see that it's giving me uh, NIC is net zero uh, v4 is the IP version 4 so 192.168.1.40 I'm going to give this address and my router is 192.168.1.1 okay once done press F2 configure DNS press F2 I'm going to go with Google DNS as well. Press F2. Search for domain name. No need for that. I'm not going to use anything, so it's none. Uh, UTC is fine. English is fine. So as you can see, that installation is pretty straight. Uh, year 2016. That's fine. Press F2. Okay. Select your keyboard so here us english is selected that's fine okay now the root password make sure it's strong but again because it's a demo uh, machine i'm just going to use a very simple password for this okay uh, sol2 uh, is the real name you can give it any name salt is the username password is and then press F2 okay for email I'm going to remove it because I don't have uh, any email like associated with this account F2 again and now it's giving it's showing you the installation summary if you want to change anything you can press F3 otherwise you can just move with uh, proceed with F2 and you can see this at the bottom okay everything is good I'm pressing F2 and now it's starting the installation process okay guys I'm going to pause this video and I'll be back once this installation is complete okay guys so the installation is 100% complete 
and now you can see that the installation of Oracle Solaris has completed successfully and now reboot to start the newly installed software so I am going to scroll down and you can see here it's F8 to reboot okay and I'm going to press F8 actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot the system again because it has booted from uh, our DVD again so what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, shut down this machine or I'm going to just close this machine now power off this machine and then uh, I am going to go to the settings and from here I am just going to remove this okay and now I'm going to start it and you can see that we have successfully booted to Oracle Solaris press enter configuring the devices this is because the first boot so that's why it's taking some time first boot after installation okay you can see that the host name is now Solaris-2 okay now it's asking for the console login so if you if you remember we called it uh, sol2 I guess okay. and yes now we are in the system okay clear the screen okay guys we are up and we can see that we can reach our gateway and we can reach Google so perfect so this is uh, okay the partitions are there everything is good so this is the end of our first video so in our next video we will take a look at uh, some commands and we'll proceed with some more advanced features of Solaris. Until then, goodbye and thank you for watching.